Hey, how you guys doing? This is Angela Tulliver, the angel of revelation. Yes. Coming at you with a message from the divine, our father, our source, our mother earth, Gaia, mama. My internet fucking up. But bear with me. Anyway, we're gonna jump right into it. Y'all, y'all get y'all get the whole idea. This is my motherfucking song. Shit. I ain't even finna play with this internet right now. Anyway, we got business to talk about. Anyway, I'm finna start off right at the bat reading Revelations. We gotta get we gotta get teachings in because our people are way the fuck thrown off, okay? With this fucking truth. So, we got revelations. We finna start from the, we got the Bible. This is the New Testament. I'm only rolling in the New Testament. We rolling in the new. We rolling in the new. We okay. This is uh, the international version. I, I also have a King James version. I have like four or five different Bibles. But this one I keep with me because, you know, I write in it and I like to keep my stuff neat. So, I kind of like, this is, my, this is my one I keep on me all the time. Anyway, so, it says the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel, me, not I'm just playing, me too, but his angel servant, John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads the words of his, of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear it and take it to heart what is written in it sorry you guys i'm trying to read this small ass writing oh lord because the time is near okay that's right the time is near our father is coming you guys this is not a joke feel me i just wrote in this book today and put the date and time and you know three and seven is ten i got my three 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 that's the trinity you dig <laughs> anyway i'm reading on revelations one and four to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come. And from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priest priests and priestesses that's what we supposed to be we supposed to be preaching god's word and making sure everybody stay in line and vibrating high and everybody happy and full of abundance and joy everybody got whatever they want and wish they could have and living their best life and everything supposed to be beautiful and wonderful our, our lives ain't got to suffer we ain't supposed to be suffering we ain't supposed to be scared and, and living in fear and all that come on now we got to get up out of that bondage bondage come up out of that bondage pharaoh he has to let us go it's it's, it's 20 times 20 is 400 years, you guys. Come on now. I feel, okay, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom. This is supposed to be our shit. The earth, we in the 3D. We the one was born here. We are flesh beings. God and the spirits, they were spiritual people. They didn't, they wasn't able to be in the flesh. They So it's an honor and a blessing to have a flesh and to be able to experience life. Come on and, and be able to, they, I, some of those angels, I bet they wish that they could like enjoy uh, doing fun shit and I got to like always just be in, you know, kind of like just in, in the clouds, just be invisible. They're invisible, you know? Nobody can really hear them and see them and stuff, you know? So it's a blessing for us to be able to hear, see, and touch and shit and smell. Come on, y'all. <clears throat> to him who loves us, Jesus, he loves us and he freed us. He didn't have to go through all that for us. It was his divine sacrifice that got us on this earth doing the shit that we doing now and we ain't dying we ain't getting fucked up like back in the biblical days so y'all gotta thank him and appreciate that he here and he came he's still here he rose from the dead 
He guiding us. He's the one we're supposed to be calling on for help. We're not supposed to be out here doing shit on our own and fucking up shit. Come on now. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and father and to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Our father, my papa, my dad, dad, my abba. Look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. You guys, y'all going to see him. <laughs> y'all going to know this shit's real. Even those who pierced him, even the ones who pierced him going to see him. Okay, honey. Oh, yeah. They got, they going to, that shit going to surprise the fuck out of him when, when they, because they was the main ones that didn't believe and had him fucked up. Oh, oh, they going to see and they going to bow. And all the people of the earth will mourn because of him. They're, they're going to feel fucked up because they didn't believe. So shall it be. Amen. Look, this is magic right there in the Bible. So shall it be is um, that's manifesting something. I am, oh, sorry. You got, Ooh, shit. That just slid down. Hold up. Hold up. Here we go. I am the alpha and the omega says the Lord God who is and who was and who is to come the almighty one like a son of man i john your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in jesus was on the island of patmos because of the word of god and the testimony of jesus on the lord's day i was in the spirit and i heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet which said Right on a scroll, just like not too long ago, I had I heard a motherfucker trumpet. I heard I heard it, and I got up and posted a video, and I told some truth because I heard that shit, and that was a warning. Okay, shit, I know when God is trying to warn me. When I know I'm doing too much wrong, I hurry up and repent and ask God to forgive me, man. And I I, I fast. That's why I always when y'all sometimes y'all see me, I get, I be thick and then I get skinny. That's cause I probably done fasted for three, four, five, six months. In rolling in the spirit. Y'all see me rolling in the spirit all the time. I be being my authentic self. Yeah, I'm human. Yeah, I got flaws. I've been in this world for 37 years in a corrupt ass world. So yeah, I picked up on some fucked up habits just like everybody else. Shit. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna read that back over. I, John, your brother and companion in this suffering and kingdom and patient endurance are that are ours in Jesus was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, write on the scrolls what you see and send it to the seven churches. To you, Euphias, you guys got to um, <laughs> bear with me with these pronunciations, okay? Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet. And with a golden, wait, 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 wait here we go. And with a golden sash around his chest, his head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like the bronze glowing in a furnace. And his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand, he held seven stars and out of his mouth, out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining all its brilliance. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that right now, you guys. Everybody notice. Come on, people, wake up. Black people, y'all know this. Y'all know this scripture better than any motherfucking body. Shit. So come on. Um, let me get into these ascension cards and we're going to get our power thoughts, okay? And I'm going to get up out of here because I got to go get this uh, money. This currency. Because currency is energy. If you got a dollar, let me see. <laughs> I call upon earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether. Ancestors, spirit friends, and spirit guides. Clear. 
And I be clearing the deck like I'm clearing somebody finna come back to <laughs> come back from the dead. Shit, I'm trying to bring somebody back to life type shit. And I'm just playing. I love you guys. I hope you guys are really appreciating my messages because it took a while for me to get to build up the confidence. I had to really, really study and really, I've been studying for over 11 years on this ministry. I didn't even realize this journey I was on. Like, it's crazy because everything that has been happening to me is wonderful fucking stories that I could tell you guys to help y'all. And to y'all can resonate with me because I'm, I'm in the same generation as y'all. Shit. That's the best. Y'all rolling with a real live angel. Y'all get to y'all get to witness one of God's real life angels on this earth. Y'all, some of y'all know me and touch me and some of y'all done fuck me, suck me. Shit, come on. That's an honor to be able to be kicking it with real angels and chosen ones. Come on, y'all. Shit. I always tell people, it's a blessing for me to be in your life. Motherfucker, I ain't got to be around your ass. Shit, I like being by my motherfucking self. Shit. Because I don't let myself down. I don't tell myself no. I don't have a lack mentality. I don't I don't have that poverty thinking and shit. I, love, I, I, I live in abundance. I, I spend money like I know I'm going to get some more money. God damn it. I'm not going to be hoarding money and shit and worried about this shit. Shit. Hell to the no, no, no. I want I I'm I roll in abundance thinking. Yeah, we were poor, but shit, I I knew I ain't want to be poor. Shit, I knew I wanted to be better than how my parents was. I knew I wasn't gonna do the same shit I seen my mama doing and my daddy doing. Fuck no, shit, motherfucker, y'all doing the same. Y'all is just blind leading the blind. I know I we can't blame nobody but the devil because that motherfucker was a slick one. Oh yeah, that motherfucker thought he was gonna just take over some shit with his bitch ass. But it's all good. We woke now. We here now. I'm preparing y'all because we are at the end. I'm trying to tell you. There's going to be so many people who are going to be so mad at they stuff. They're going to want to kill they self. Oh, what's on my bed burning? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I just burnt my fucking blanket. Oh, well, I'm going to get a new one anyway because it's been about a couple months. I like, I mean, y'all should see. I probably got like 20 fucking bed comforter sets. Damn, that's a big ass ugly hole. Oh, well. Anyway, that shit can be replaced, so you can't worry about shit, petty shit like that. I felt, I was literally looking at this my bed today like, man, I've been taking hella pictures on this same-ass motherfucking comforter set. I'm finna come out with a nice-ass different bomb one. I want to switch up on y'all, you feel me? You always got to switch up. All right, we got our power thoughts. I am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me. I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. Let me make sure I ain't got nothing else burning. Okay, cause that sage um is starting. I gotta rewrap it, cause when, as you burn it, you you're burning the um the yarn. So I have to sometimes have to tie another knot. So if you ever buy some sage for me and it start unraveling, just get some yarn or get some type of um thread or string and just kind of keep retying it to keep it together. Cause once that shit start breaking up and then it start getting everywhere and it start getting a little dangerous. So that's a disclaimer, you guys. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. Uh -huh, uh huh. Yes, that's right. That's how you gotta think. Everybody love you. We're not gonna think about no haters. Fuck them. We thinking about everybody who love us, and we want everybody to love us. So that means we want to treat people right. I radiate acceptance, and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good. I trust the process of life.
there is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. That's right. I am safe. It's only a change. You don't have to feel stuck. Changing is better. Changing is good. Trust God. Trust Jesus. Trust me. Trust my ministry. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. All right, let's get these ascension messages. Damn, I put them back in the box. Hold on, y'all. I forgot. Let's get some. I'm about we going to heaven messages. Check out some of my lip gloss. Isn't that beautiful? Now, every time I touch the freaking camera, something happens. So I ain't even finna try to turn the camera around to me. But yeah, I know I'm beautiful. I don't need to always be in the goddamn camera shit. Yes, this is beautiful. This is um rose gold. Yes. These run for 20. And they are so gorgeous and they this lasts a long time this last this is like about 15 milliliters so this lasts longer than these and these are my amethyst lip glosses i love them these are these are the ones i'm wearing <laughs> yeah you know i gotta rock my own shit you feel me because i love all my things all right, Holy Spirit, call upon earth, air, fire, water, spirit, ether, ancestors, way shores, guides, spirit friends, spirit guides, excuse me. I'm thinking about new being divine. I try not to be saying other people's shit. <laughs> excuse me, Lord, I'm going to start over. I call upon earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether. My ancestors, my spirit friends, spirit guides, spirit animals, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. I hope everybody had a beautiful Sabbath. I sure did. I got so much work done for God. I got work done for myself. I got work done for you guys. And I just been just rolling in the spirit. I've been feeling really, I've been having some ascension symptoms. Cause you know, I'm coming down off all that weed I've been smoking. And that shit, it, that, that, all that nicotine that was coming out of me was making me throw up and shit. And I was, I've been dealing with like a lot of, a lot of my past pain and stuff been kind of coming up and I've been thinking about you know a lot of the pain I went through but you know I'm just it's just a healing process you know sometimes you think about things and you bring it up and that's what helps you heal when you bring it up and face it one more card Holy Spirit Then we're going to get some messages from our masculine, our divine masculine with his fine, sexy, bossy, creative ass. Anyway. All right. The Holy Spirit wants us to touch on Archangel Metatron's cloak. I see a six. Why is it blurry? All right, y'all finish this roll with it because I got to get ready to get up out of here. It is an, hour, an honor to receive this card for the cloak allows Metatron's energy to be held in your aura. It ensures that your 12 chakras are open and per, and protects you from lower energies. That, that means I got to put my cloak on when I go outside, when I go around motherfuckers, because I got to be fully protected because my energy sources and my energy um, spaces are so sensitive right now. Like, I cannot watch no negative shit. If I see something, I, like, all that shit that's going on outside of what's going on with God, I can't focus on that type of shit. Like, I can't watch the news. I can't watch bad stuff scary movies i can't watch no killing i can't watch these riots and shit that's because that shit really triggers me and it breaks me it makes me it makes my heart hurt and i can feel pain li li literally in my heart and my heart i can feel pain literally in my stomach and in my private my sacral chakra area my root chakra area too so it kind of feels like contractions so 
that shit hurt. I don't want to feel that much pain watching that type of shit. So I have to always be doing something positive. I always have to be having my mindset on God and on positive things and what he wants me to do. Anyway. It is an honor to receive this card for the cloak allows Metatron's energy to be held in your aura. It ensures that your 12 chakras are open to open and protects you from lower energies. This means that you can link to the seventh dimension of hollow earth. See, there's so many dimensions, you guys. Oh, my God. We're only in the third. Okay. I've been in the fourth. I've been in the fifth. I'm rolling in the fifth right now in the sixth. And I'm about to be going to the seventh. Y'all better come on now. Shit. Anyway, this means that you can link to the seventh dimension of hollow earth and access wisdom from the four ascension planets there's four more ascension planets you guys walk tall and stand in your power wearing this cloak will help you guide others on their ascension path as well you are called on to do this empower people to see who they are and what they can do yes i always been like that i always want see things in people and i try to tell them like man you would be a cool artist or do, do you man you you will be a bomb ass fucking singer. You're you so beautiful. You need the model. Like I, I, I always give people beautiful com compliments about themselves. Anyway, I stand in my power and lead others forward. Hilarion four and six is a ten. Yes, that's completion. Drops down to a one. Yes, we are one. Hilarion is from Saturn and steps down his energy through the temple of truth over Crete. He is negotiator for Earth and on the council of Saturn and helps us remain connected to our spiritual journey. As master of the orange fifth ray of technology, science, truth, and knowledge, he invites you to open your mind so that he can drop seeds for new ideas into your consciousness. He assists those who are ready to become higher channels and clairvoyance. That's right. Your guidance is to sit quietly and ask him to help you be all you can be. Who? Don't you want that? Don't everybody want that? Shit, I sure do. I open myself to the wisdom and guidance of Hilarion. The Amethyst Skull. Two and one is a three. Yes, three. The Trinity. During the golden era of Atlantis, each of the high priests and priestesses of the 12 tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel, fashioned a crystal skull that was an advanced computer and programmed it with the knowledge and wisdom held by their tribe. All the information was placed into the Amethyst Master Skull, which is kept safely in the inner planes. Receiving this card suggests you look for the highest perspective in a situation that presents itself to you. That means you always look at the good. Don't look at the bad. Feel me? Look at the a higher outcome. Don't don't stoop low. Always aim high. Let's let's vibrate high. If somebody hurts your feelings, so what? You know they're 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 they probably just they hate themselves. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes just ignore. But I laugh at their ass. <laughs> I, 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 look, I make their ass feel stupid as hell. You know I'm done with their ass. Anyway. Explore the details when you have all the facts. Take decisions with wisdom and integrity. I explore all the information before I take a decision. All right. I'm going to hop up into these quick. In the boudoir. The, the sexual. The, the sensual, excuse me, my little freaky ass. The sensual messages for the divine feminine. This is from Divine Masculine Energy. This is all, this is for, this is collective energy. This is for everybody, whoever it resonates with. Only take what resonates. Because everything ain't for everybody. I call upon earth, air, fire, water, spirit, ether, ancestors, spirit, friends, spirit, guys, clear. Let me get three quick cards. Holy Spirit, let's find out what the masculine, what's on his mind, how he's feeling about his feminine. You are in charge.
You are so mysterious and have captivated my curiosity. I would give anything just to hold you in my arms right now. Mm, I know, baby. Anyway, honey, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate everyone who came and who wants to learn truth through me, through the real, true angel of this beautiful black history book. It's not even just a black history book. This is your basic instructions before leaving earth okay and if you don't fucking prepare yourself you're gonna get left behind coming at you with another reading with divine messages from our source the almighty the king of kings the lord of lords the beginning and the end the alpha the omega Signing out, it's your girl, Angela Tolliver, the angel of revelation, known as the spiritual plug. Take care, you guys. Check me out on YouTube. Just click my name, just, just type my name, Angela Tolliver, boom, all my videos and things will pop up and learn more. Love you.